The Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is, he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. My father isn't crazy. He's just a coward. Too afraid of being hated to rule as a ruler should. That will change when I take the throne. And you, intentionally or not, have made the taking of it just a little bit easier. Haven't you? You killed Vic for me. I wish you'd done the same to Val, but at least you put him on ice. So, thanks. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers. And I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? Oh, they wouldn't dare! I'd... I'd... Oh, I suppose it's true. The Warlords don't like a loser. And they will see this as a defeat. Fine. I can play the penitent daughter until the old man dies. My time will come. You're prisoner. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead, Team November. That's amazing, November 1. How did, uh... Well, you know what? Never mind. I'd rather hear this one in person. Transport is inbound to pick up one Liberty Buchanan. Well done, Team November. Over and out. Thank you for the rescue, friends. Forgive me for not looking my best. These savages haven't allowed me a bath or a change of clothes since they kidnapped me. I'm Percival Wesson of the Hundred Families. Uh, before we go any further, I, I know the Dorseys killed most of my family, but do you have any word of my daughter, Lucia? Oh, thank God. I, I didn't think the Dorses had got her, but after that, who knew? I'll join her as soon as I can. I didn't set out to kill his family. I just... Things happened. You see, years ago, the Patriarch asked me to get some men together and disrupt a meeting of the Dorses, who were as you say, agitating for elections in Colorado. Now, Saul didn't feel it was time for that yet. So we showed up in hoods, brandishing clubs, ready to teach them all a lesson. But once they began to fight back, I, 
I started shooting instead of swinging. And a Dorsey died. And after that, well, we couldn't leave any witnesses alive, so it was a terrible thing. The most shameful act of my life. And it has come back to haunt me in the worst way possible. I'm ready to die, strangers, or serve my time, or anything you decide. Whatever it is, I'll deserve it. Thank you, Rangers. My place is with my daughter. Project solution built and ready for execution. Yield return sensor config. Compiler report. Zero errors. Zero warnings. Running constructors. Backward sensor data stream has produced a viable enhancement model. Device recorded hours of agent activity and constructed final device to maximize efficiency. Yippee-ki-yay, cowboys. Dead Red checking in. Come back secure, you copy? Roger that. So, give me the news. Is Liberty Buchanan handled? Can't say I'm happy to hear it. Might just bite you in the ass later. Might bite all of us in the ass. I hope you're at least ready to help with the second part of the plan. A little bird told me you've been making friends in high places. Got the sheriff and the families backing you now. So we might be able to get Buchanan to step down without spilling any blood. You on board with that plan? Come on, November! You're really willing to accept mass deportations and murders in exchange for stability? And how long will that stability last anyway? Buchanan's on his last legs. What happens when he dies? Please, do the right thing. Boys, I really thought you'd come around in the end. Fuck. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You'll never make it in time to save him. We're moving to take the palace now, and he's already locked down the city. By the time you get in, Buchanan will be dead, and we'll be waiting for you. Don't come, cowboys. Go back to AZ. Really don't want to kill any fellow rangers. Dead red out. I'm
Ah, here at last. Glad to see you. Things have gone to hell around here. Your pal Angie's in Colorado Springs trying to kill Mr. Buchanan, and some of your recruits have turned traitor. They've driven us out of the base. If we're gonna save Saul, we gotta get you and your vehicle downtown. Unfortunately, the main gate to the city is locked up tight. I know another way, but we gotta get to the war room to access it, and these damn traitors are in the way. About half the base. As soon as you radioed in that you were supporting the Patriarch, they revealed themselves to be supporters of that Angela Death Woman and started shooting anyone who wasn't. We were taken off guard and ran out to regroup. We've been out here ever since, waiting on you. But, uh, I'm not sure all your allies are as devoted to the cause as I am. So you might want to see how they're feeling before we go any further. Thank you. The floor is yours. I'm feeling like I want to be done with it all. We've got the Patriarch's kid squared away. Let's deal with Crazy Angie and get to the part where we all go have a drink and reminisce about what great heroes we were. I'm ready for my fucking retirement. Amen, partner. I reckon so. Though, I will say I am more ambivalent now about the Patriarch and his reign than when I joined you. I have seen too much that I cannot unsee. Still, if the alternative is chaos, I fear we must stick with the devil we know. I'm with you. Of course I am. I left all my squeezins inside. I'm going back in there come hell, uh, high water. I don't like it at all. If there was a way to convince them that they've made a mistake. But I know there's no time for that. And, and Arizona needs us. The Rangers back home need us. We have to honor our agreement with the Patriarch to save them. As much as I dread this, I'm with you. I can't believe it's come down to Rangers fighting Rangers. I never signed up for that. But I did sign up to save my folks back home. And if this is what's gonna do it, then I'm in. I'm heartbroken, but I'm in. Right, like I was saying, Angela Death and her crew are trying to overthrow the Patriarch as we speak. And there's no easy way to get your vehicle to her as she's blocked the main gate. Fortunately, I know another way to get the truck downtown, but we'll have to get into the war room to access it. And the traitor rangers are holed up in there with everything locked down. I don't know, all of them? But Connie Zhang was the instigator. Gave a speech about Angie being the true follower of the Ranger Way and all the Buchanan haters ran to her side. Been a running battle in there ever since. You'll have to override the lockdown they've put in place by accessing the system from the computers in the garage, armory, and brig. So, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from the base to an elevator under Market Square, where Angie's fighting the Patriarch. Sorry I didn't tell you this before. Saul wanted to keep it a secret, in case you turned on him. Once you're in the war room, all you have to do is use the computer to open the tunnel and power up the elevators. Then you'll be able to drive your truck right under Angie's feet and come up behind her. The system is called the Vehicle Evacuation Tunnel. Look for it in the computer's menu. Great, then get going.
your ground. We gotta buy time for Colonel Death. Happy to. Take a look.
Moving the flank!
Rangers, glad you killed that security alert. It was driving me crazy. Did you get that vehicle evacuation tunnel open? Ha! You call this a setback? Well, cheer up. The computer that controls the elevators hidden in a secret room in the Patriarch's... I know, I know. I promised you you'd drive through the tunnel to the square and catch Angie from behind. But at least the truck will be delivered to you. Sorry, Rangers. Best we can do. Great ski out.
is a tyrant! This is our time to rise up! Hey! It's the Rangers! Just in time to save our butts! Traitors! You're gonna die for locking up our mama!
Damn, Rangers. Thanks for the save. If I was younger, I'd kiss every one of you. But you'd probably appreciate a warning more than a kiss. It was a red-headed woman who riled up these folks, leading what looked like a squad of rangers. Got the refugees to block the street, then skedaddle towards Market Square. Smells like a coup to me, rangers. And if you want the Patriarch to honor his deal with you, well, you best keep him alive, huh? I'm a woman of my word. I've got your back. But the only way anybody's gonna follow you is if you take out that redhead. Rangers, about time your friend has been giving me some trouble. November, how many good folk did you gun down to get here? And all in the aid of this hollow old man? And what will he ask for the next time you need help? Will you help him disappear some more protesters? Will you help him kill the Arapaho? Idealistic fool. You don't know what it takes to keep the peace. There are other ways of saving Arizona, Rangers. Help me, and we'll find them. Fine. I know I'm gonna die either way. But I'll go quiet if you let the others walk. You're asking a lot, Rangers, but fine. If it ends this, I'll take her and let the small fry go. As long as they get the hell out of Colorado and know they're dead men if they ever come back. Fine. I'm putting down my gun. Do what you gotta do. So long, Tack, Pete, Brother Thomas. Keep the faith, yeah?
done then? Good. With this, my nation is once again secure. You've earned the reward I promised your general, and you will have it. The trucks are already on their way. Now, you have a choice. You can return to Arizona, but you have a home here, if you want it. Good. It will be good to have you here. There is still much to be done to repair the damage my children have wrought. The road forward is not an easy one, but hopefully we will both live long enough to see the birth of the peaceful, prosperous world we've all been fighting for. Until that day, I will make sure that Colorado hails you as the heroes you are. Thank you, Rangers. Thank you. They don't know in Arizona what we did in Colorado on the trail. If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. Hard times in Arizona with the rangers and the settlers giving ground. To the raiders and militia, and it seemed we'd lose the good life that we found. Then you can and made us awful by my kids, and I will help you save your land. So we rode for Colorado, praying that he'd be an honest man. In Denver we found valor, a son who didn't live up to his name. He turned against his father, siding with the old man's rival seeking fame. Though his rivals tried to stop us, we captured valor like we said we would. Brought him home to daddy We made it pretty clear Just where he stood Then we made our way to Aspen To find Buchanan's misbegotten son The sick old name of victory we Pulled the legs off you was just a fun Not to kill him After seeing what he'd done He had died Which brought trouble from Buchanan We didn't notice any others right On the track halfway to Kansas We found Buchanan's daughter Make a plan Conquer Colorado with the help of desperado gangs and clans. Though she swore she'd not surrender, we promised not to end her come what may. So we shot the folks around her, then bound her, and we took her from the free. Back to Buchanan We told him we'd done everything he asked It was his turn to deliver So we could save our Arizona home at last Or we thought he might renege Or demand we plead and beg on our knees Detail, he paid up just as pretty as you please. In Arizona, what we did in Colorado on the trail. 
If we saved them or betrayed them, if we did the job we went for or we failed. But when the winter turns to spring, the news newcomers bring, they'll know that the Rangers kept their promise and the aid from Colorado's gonna flow.
As I went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, Father, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, Father, let's go down, down in the valley to pray. In the valley. As I went down in the valley to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the robe and crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, mothers, let's go down. Come on down, don't you want to go down? Oh, mothers, let's go down, down in the valley to pray.
To that same old place you laughed about Well, the names have all changed since you hung around But those dreams have remained and they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? him on the spot welcome back 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 we always good spot a friend welcome back and i smile when i think how it must have been scene you were learning in was there something that made you come back again what could ever lead ya here where we need ya we tease him a lot cause we got him on the spot welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome Something that made you come back again Welcome back.